Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gepa the Shaman, and today we're talking about a uh, sun in the sign of Capricorn. So what does it mean when we have sun and Capricorn in our chart? Um, yeah, the first thing that you should be aware of is that I'm having a 30% uh, off special for astrology readings. Um, you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com, check out well, all I have to offer in regards to astrology readings. And then also I have my courses available here, uh, patreon.com slash govillashaman. And uh, that's basically, I offer a, a course that has, um, it's a self-transformation challenge. It has kundalini yoga, it has qigong, and it has meditations. So that really empowers you to um, evolve spiritually and to uh, get more energy in, in your body. Those those practices are really great for health. They've really helped me in regards to health. And um, yeah, it's it's really great stuff. Also, I have the same the same courses available uh, over here at gabotheshaman.gumroad.com. Uh, there over on Gumroad, you can buy them just straight up outright instead of uh, instead of doing the monthly subscription. So this all allows you to just buy them outright. Uh, I also have some guided meditations on there. I'm working on uploading some mantras and some um, some other courses. I'm working on a, a Vedic astrology course, and I'm working on a um, a uh, qigong course another qigong course for for beginners so yeah those are all going to be available soon so um we're talking about sun in the sign of capricorn and what does it mean when we have sun in capricorn in our chart well the sun is one one of the three signs of our personality. Uh, one of the one of the three significators of our personality, because um, in order to understand the full the full aspect or the full um, you know the, the whole the whole of the personality. We need to understand um, that there are three planets or three three significators of of the personality. So, first significator of the personality would be the uh, the ascendant. That's the Vedic rising sign. That's the sign that was rising in the east at the time of your birth. Um, that that basically grounds all the cosmic energy into, you know. And earth, the the relationship with the earth, so it kind of provides a framework. A uh, you know, uh, if your if your life was a a book, the ascendant would be the table of contents. That would be the uh, you know the chapter, the layout of the book, basically. And then we have your moon sign, which is the the meditative mind, the heart mind. A lot of people think that the meditative mind is the the intellect, but no, it's the it's the heart mind. It's the emotions. It's our feelings, our our thoughts based on our feelings and stuff like that. So, and then we have the sun, which represents our soul, um, our soul, and it. So the sun, which is what I'll be talking about today, it also represents the ego, it represents the soul, it represents the father, the it represents government, authority, our health, and our career. So, what does the sign of Capricorn represent? Well, the sign of Capricorn basically represents hard work, it represents... Um, law represents, um, uh, karma represents, uh, well, it represents our career. Um, it 
can represent our fame. It can represent um, what, how, how we present ourselves to the world. It represents our um, how we how we interact with the world. It's um, what we're known for, basically our our public reputation. Reputation. So, um, so Sun and Sun and Capricorn with. With Sun here in Capricorn, we have to look at the dispositor of Capricorn, which is Saturn. So we, so basically, Saturn is controlling Saturn. Saturn rules Capricorn, so we need to look at where Saturn is placed in our chart in order to get a, a better sense of where, um, of of how how the Sun will will act here. It's kind of like the. It's kind of like Saturn is the landlord for this for this house or for this for this sign. So we need to look is the is the landlord in a good sign or is it in a bad sign? So we need to look at examine the the sign that sat that Saturn is in um and really get a sense for is that is Saturn well placed? Is it exalted? Is it is it debilitated? Is it, you know, what's going on with that? So, um, yeah, so for more information on that, I would recommend getting a Vedic Astrology reading here. Vincent.thunderwizard.com, you can check that out over there. So, um, Sun in Capricorn. Well, Sun, what is Sun? Sun is the ego, the soul, the father government, health, career, and so, um, you know, the sun wants to, here in Capricorn, the sun wants to, um, wants to work, the sun wants to, um, you know, be very organized, very structured, very detail-oriented, um, yeah, it's, it's, it wants to, you know, Cap Capricorn is like the, the sign where, you know, you're, you're, uh, say, let's say you're an engineer and, and a bridge needs to be built. Well, you're not going to skimp on that. You're going, you're not going to build it out of, out of wood. You're going to, you know, get the, get the pillars of stone and you're going to, you know, like, you're going to make sure it lasts, basically. So everything that Capricorn does is made, is built to last. Like, it, it might take a uh, hundred years to build something, but it will last. Uh, it will stand the test of time. It won't be destroyed by, you know, a uh, tornado or whatever, <laughs> you know. It's, it's, Capricorn is like putting in the hard work. It's like putting in the hard work to make sure that something is built to last. It's almost like a, like legacy, like building a legacy, something that will last beyond you. And so, uh, with sun here, we have, you know, the, the sun, the ego wants to build a legacy, you know, so... So you could be very focused on your your public reputa rep reputation. Uh, you could be very focused on what other people think about you. You could be focused on, you know, the status of your career and you and you know, if you're so your your ego kind of gets off on that and it 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 wants to focus on that. It's it, but. Basically, that's not, that's not who you, that's not like what determines your worth. That's not what determines your value. You know, that's, that's, those are, um, external, st exter external circumstances that you kind of judge yourself on. And so if you're doing well in your career, then you feel great about yourself. If you have, you know, your highest status and whatever, then you feel great about yourself. But if you don't have that, 
then you're going to be feeling really shitty about yourself. And so, but, so the ego is kind of wrapped up in this, like, I need to have a career that's, that's, you know, that puts me on a pedestal. I, I need to be seen in a certain way. I need to be, you know, acknowledged in this way. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's all wrapped up in how other people see us, which that's not, that has no bearing on our, on our inherent value as people. That has absolutely no bearing on, on our value because we are valuable just for the, for the very simple fact that we exist. Um, you know, we are, we are worthy. We are valuable just because we exist. And so this is something that, uh, you know, sat, that sun in Capricorn needs to, needs to realize. And so, give me a second. So, you know, the, so this is a big lesson that you need to learn. Your, your value is not determined on um, what you what you do for the world it's your your val you're valuable just because you're here just because you exist just because you incarnated and so we'll talk about the soul now um, the soul wants to basically um, work hard to build a legacy it wants to um, you know it it wants to have its own self-expression imprinted on the world. Like it wants to make its mark on the world. It wants to, you know, leave, leave a lasting impression, leave a legacy that is is of, you know, of what, like, what it stands for and things like that. So, yeah, the this, this soul really wants to work hard to, to leave a legacy. And so this also, the son also represents your father. So your father could have been a very, you know, structured person, very, <laughs> like we're talking about like military dads and, and being very structured and organized in the home. And, and, you know, you, your father would, your this basically represents your relation, your relationship with the father, and um, you would also need to look at what house this is placed in, and you would need to look at the position of Saturn to determine, you know, to get more information on on how this, like, what exactly impacts this had. So, anyway, if you want more information like that, I can provide you with that if you get a Vedic astrology reading at vincent.thunderwizard.com it's 30% off it's a really good deal it's really cheap um yeah i'm i'm probably one of the one of the cheapest or <laughs> most ex most inexpensive astrologers to get in with today uh because most people are charging upwards of 100 bucks uh hun like more than that 120 150 my my stuff is on sale for 80 so you know get it while it can get it while you can um so anyway yeah um so you would need to look at the positions of of saturn and and the house that this is placed in so your your relationship with your father would most likely be very um very strict very, um, very disciplined, very organized, very, you know, your, your father was probably very hard on you, and, um, yeah, this, it, that can be a hard, a hard thing, because, like, you know, <laughs> basically, my, my mom was hard on me, my dad wasn't, wasn't really in the picture, so, uh, but my mom was, you know, kind of fulfilling that role. Anyway, um, but yeah, that, that's, that can be hard on, on a kid. Now, 
in order to in order to understand what your mother what your mother uh acted like or your like your relationship with your mother um i would look at the the placement of the moon and you can watch my series on on the moon placements moon through the signs and i have that in a playlist on my channel all right guys so this also talks about this is also represents um your relationship with the government and authority so this means that you could be a lawyer um a go this also means that you could be maybe like a correctional officer or somebody um your your relationship with the government is kind of you know it's kind of very strained i would say that like this could have to have something to do with like you know jail um something like that just because um you know this it's a it's a sign that you you had a you know your your relationship with the government is like very business very <laughs> very legal, very stuffy, very constrained. Um, yeah, it, uh, you could be a lawyer or something like that for the government with this position. So, yeah, um, so not quite sure, you know, what that means with your relationship with the government or or whatnot, but as far as health, um, <laughs> this this is a challenging sign because um, you know Sun and Saturn are enemies, and and Saturn wants to take a long time to do things, and Sun is like, you know, it it wants to bless you with health, but Sun being in the sign of Capricorn, it kind of gets, you know, the the Sun gets darkened in this uh in this thing in this sign kind of gets shrouded by by the restriction of of saturn so um i would say that um your your health could really take a lot of work to um to get right you know uh like for me for example i i i spent years um in an unhealthy state, not knowing that I had a rare condition and uh, recently found out about it. And now I'm after 35 or 34 years of, of life, I'm finally getting, you know, my, my stuff together and finally getting my health right. So this could be, you know, you might have to work 10 times harder than anybody else around you in order to uh, get your health right. So, you know, it could be very challenging, very hard, but, um, Saturn, it's, it's there to, Saturn is there to provide a challenge, but on the other side of that challenge, it will reward you beyond anything else. It will reward you, um, like, like, say if you had to, had to work 10 times harder than anybody else to get where you are. Saturn will go ahead and reward you 100 times more than anybody else. So, uh, just for that 10, 10 times harder, you know, 10 times, um, you know, more, more, more work basically. So yeah, it's all about hard work, discipline and all that stuff. And that's a lesson that I'm learning as well. Uh, this placement with Saturn with uh <laughs> with Sun in Capricorn also represents um uh career so career uh you could be a lawyer you could be a someone who works for the government a police officer law enforcement officer a jail guard um correctional officer come some kind of a you know, um, someone who, um, maybe like an analyst, somebody who analyzes data, 
uh, oil miner, oil, uh, you know, working in oil, working in coal, uh, things like that. Um, yeah. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of different stuff that, like, it could be anything. So in order to get a, a better idea on that, I would recommend looking at where Saturn is placed, and I would look at the house that, that Sun and Capricorn is in for you. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I will talk to you later. Go ahead and check out my sites, patreon.com slash shaman. Go ahead and check out vincent.thunderwizard.com for my Vedic astrology readings. Go here for um, to gebotheshaman.gumroad.com to buy my courses outright and view like all the detailed information about them, the courses, the guided meditations, the mantras, all that good stuff at gebotheshaman.gumroad.com. Alrighty guys, so we will also uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you be can be notified when I upload next. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.